All right, now we got Fabio Foreign Bow versus Designer. Get, 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 man. Oh, first round? Yeah, this is, most of these have been tough. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most precarious show on the internet. My name is Riley Zuckerberg, my nefarious co-host, Graydon. My heart is rotten. And today we're deciding once and for all what the best ad lib of all time is. This is our Rapper Ad Libs Bracket. 64 iconic ad libs from the world of hip hop. Only one can win. We're gonna play it out March Madness style. Before you're new to it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also got a drop with Copes. It's on the screen, it's linked in description. Makes great Christmas gifts or post Christmas gifts. We've also got our Patreon and our Cameo linked in description if you'd like to support us. Also, HiveMind memberships are now open. Click the join button next to the subscribe button. You get eight exclusive emotes, you get members only chats, members only polls, and exclusive content. Thanks to everybody who's supporting us. We really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the bracket. Drop your favorite ad lib down in the comment section right now. Come on, baby. First round, we hear a clip of the ad Libs. After that, we just play it out. Oh, I've been waiting on this one. First matchup, we've got Travis Scott, It's Lit, versus Lil Pump, Ooh. Ooh. This one's not fair. No, we got our first seed versus our 16 seed. This Absolutely. is how it always starts. That's how it's gotta go. <laughs> Someone's gotta get beat by 40. It's lit! Reverb soaked, it's lit. I mean, quintessential ad lib right there. It's one of those ad libs that can live on its own, too. Taking a phrase also that can be seen as very corny, but when Travis Scott says it, it's, it's lit. lit. Yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely lit. <laughs> oh. That one's like a softer one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. He is doing the R&B thing now, so he's got to like weave in his old familiar ad libs into like this whole new sexy little pump. I'm here for it, but he stands no chance. I like the staccato one though. The ooh. Yeah. Like when it's really like punctuated, like mm -hmm. ooh. When he just jams it in there, it's yeah. like a super fast paced old little pump song. You just get it in there. There's something about it. Yeah, he's got a great ad lib. But it's it, lit. Yeah, come on. Now we've got Fetty Wap 1738 versus the baby let's go 1738 it is an ad lib i guess but yeah. it feels more like a tag a lot of ad libs and tags the line gets a little blurry you know what i mean yeah it's like the intro to the song though it's yeah 1738 like you know what's coming <laughs> and it is amazing it's like yeah. it's electrifying it's one that like the moment you hear it everybody turns to each other and sings it yeah but is it really an ad lib yeah we're gonna get into a little bit of a debate i feel like on a few of these with that same idea yeah 1738. It really does have so much atmosphere. <laughs> There's oh something about it. And now I just can't help but think. Can I get to the yams? <laughs> yeah. Sweet yams. <laughs> you know, you posed that to me as a Christmas song, and I listened to it the other day. And it, is it a Christmas song? It doesn't feel like one. It means like the same thing as Christmas to me. Oh, like okay. Like when I yeah. hear it, I feel the birth <laughs> of Christ. I feel the joy. I feel the bliss, the jolly, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So to me, it is very much a Christmas song, yes. The manger, the lambs, the tinsel, the wise men. The wise men, yeah. <laughs> Why would they be out there in December though? Started doing some research and it really doesn't seem like that's Jesus's birthday. Well, it's not. The Bible says it's like in April. Yeah. Something like that. So no need to fret. You can still keep your steadfast faith in Christ and not feel like there's any plot holes you have to patch up. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. I mean, that one, that one's good. Say what thou wilt about the baby. Uh huh. And you shall. <laughs> that is an amazing ad lib. I mean, taking another phrase like yeah. that, let's go. You know, people have said that in a song. Nobody said it like the baby. Nope. <laughs> let's go. When somebody says let's go to me, I immediately think of the baby's stupid face. I picture his big, dumb, bald head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah same here. Wow. Yeah. Specifically when someone made his whole head like a car in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the one I immediately go to. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, I'm going to go with let's go here. Easy. All right. Now we got 21 Savage 21 versus Waka Flocka Flame Brick squad. Completely different energies here. Very different, and this is the toughest matchup so far. Absolutely. 21. Wow, is that like, what was he, 17 during that one? In a church. <laughs> this one is so versatile. Yep. Because you can do 21, 21, or it can be 21. Eh, they're not really, not that versatile. Never mind. You gotta say <laughs> the same every time. Never mind. He Sorry. does use it a lot. He yeah. gets a lot of use out of that one. All of his ad libs he does. Yeah. Free squad! From the iconic video of Waka Flocka recording all of his ad-libs, yes. where it's just him doing the ad-libs. <laughs> oh my God. Bow, 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 
bow, bow, bow. If you haven't seen that video, please look it up. It is iconic. Maybe the most iconic ad lib video of all time. An artist at work. I mean, he kind of like revolutionized ad libs. Absolutely. Him, the, like Lil John, any of that like crunk era stuff. Those ad libs were delivered in such like a ferocious way that it just took them. They got a life of their own. You know what I mean? I feel like Waka Flocka is like post crunk though. It's yeah. like in the same Gucci Mane into the Chief Keef mm -hmm. era. You had Waka Flocka like right parallel with all of that. And then eventually kind of went into the whole EDM right. thing and everything. <laughs> but I feel like Brick Squad has too much energy for me to take 21 by 21 Savage over it. I agree. Yeah. And I think it's a bit of an upset here. Yeah. I don't want to imagine a world without Waka Flocka screaming Brick Squad. Yeah. <laughs> Next we got Juicy J Trippy Mane mm -hmm. versus DJ Khaled, We The Best Music. As much as I'm rooting for the Juicy J team here, because Trippy Main and Yaho are some of my favorite ad libs ever, We The Best is going to be tough. But We The Best Music is again an intro. And I'm going to have a little bit of a bias against those ones, only because I want an ad lib to be versatile, like in the song, mm -hmm. enhance the verses, enhance the hooks. Yeah, yeah. You know? Part of the music. And trippy Main, I mean, come on. It's so good. Trippy man. Ooh, clean. Uh, Isolated yeah. right there. That is nice. <laughs> That's like your text alert. <laughs> I could put that on my own song. Yeah. <laughs> As is. We the best music. Music. Oh, the echo. the echo out. Oh, hearing it, there's just so much vibrance in yeah. DJ Khaled's voice. Yeah. But we're going to hear him do other ad libs, and I think I got to go with Trippy Main here. I'm glad we can agree on that and just move on. I think our chat is not going to be super happy with us about that. Hey, but Juicy J is a very important figure in hip hop to me, and yeah. those ad libs are golden. All right, <laughs> Trippy Main it is. All right, now we got West Side Gun, boo, 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 <laughs> and Flo Millie, ew. Yeah. These are two good ones. <laughs> Woo! Got a hundred of them right there. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, your longest yeah boy. Yeah. You remember when people used mm -hmm. to do their longest yeah boy? Mm hmm I did What's a your... long yeah boy. Yeah, I remember that. I was like almost through the whole winter. Yeah, it was the whole winter of 2013. Yeah. I did my longest yeah boy. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, and then here come dat boy. Isn't he racist or something? I think that's Pepe. Oh, right. Yeah. Frogs, you know what I mean? Yeah. They all look the same to me. It's good to be skeptical of all frogs, all yeah. internet frog memes. Be skeptical because yep. you never know. Yeah. But as far as I know, here come dat boy <laughs> is an innocent figure <laughs> okay. in the meme world. And he's the one on the bike. He's on a unicycle. Right. Let's, let's the... be historically accurate. Let's stay faithful to canon. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's on a unicycle, which is more impressive than a bike. And he's a frog. I mean, I yeah. wouldn't expect him to be able to operate any sort of vehicle. That's true. This nigga sweet. Ew. 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 It's good. I, it's clean. It's awesome. I feel like Flo Millie bitch is more iconic though. I don't know. The ew's nice. I think of that when I think of her, but yeah. it's going to be really hard to beat West Side Gun. I mean, yeah, it's West Side Gun here, but the ew is awesome. I and mean, yeah. it has so much attitude. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we got Fabio Foreign Bow versus Designer. Get, get, get. Man. Oh, first round? Yeah. This is, most of these have been tough. This should not be first round. This is crazy. <laughs> this is like final four matchup type. <laughs> type vibes. So much energy. It's another yeah. one that like bow. It's been said so many times, mm -hmm. but it's never been said that way until Fabio Foreign. It's the exclamation point. <laughs> Oh, and in that song too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to my drill fans. Designer cannot lose here. Oh yeah, there's no way. There's just no shot. Yeah, designer takes this one easily, mm -hmm. but I mean, bow is crazy. It's really That's good. Wild. Sad to see it go, but two New York heavyweights duking it out in the first <laughs> round, and you know what? One just has to lose. That's how the brackets are set up. Rick Ross huh, versus Conway the Machine. Talk to him. Back to an easy matchup. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, it's so robust. Yeah. It comes out of that monster that is Rick Ross, you know, both in the industry and in the room. And in the song, Monster by Ye, yeah. featuring Rick Ross and Nicki Minaj. Correct. And also Jay-Z. <laughs> I forget that he's on that song sometimes. Sometimes. Is he on that song? I don't even know. That's actually how much I forget. I mm -hmm. don't know if he's on that song, but I think he is. Oh yeah, he's goblins, ghouls, <laughs> monsters, Dracula, whatever he does on that one. But uh, yeah, Rick Ross, a bitch, I'm a monster, no good blood sucker. 
fat motherfucker. Huh. Sounds like a mountain, if that makes sense. It does. Raise the ball at coke prices, front at the homie. I do love that one because it does scream from the background. It's very much deep within it and it like captures the feeling mm -hmm. of like a true ad lib, like yeah. a hype up, like a talk to him. Yeah. Like talk your shit. Like, yeah. That is like the thing. That is the ad lib. It is great and Griselda's full of great ad libs, but. Yeah, their synergy is like unmatched, yeah. but you can't beat huh. No, you can't. XXX Tentacion A versus Famous Dex Daxter. A battle of the SoundCloud era. Yeah. Red light. Let that bitch go at the red light. Big bite. Yeah, there are many variations of the A. Because mm -hmm. Ski Mask does the same one. For the most part, yeah. The A. Then X also has like the screaming one, like mm -hmm. the A. Uh. And then he also has the A. <laughs> But I mean, I think the most iconic one of his whole career is the hey. A little in the background. Yeah. Hey. It just adds something, you know? Yeah, it is very plain Jane though. I don't know. I, it's another one. It's like transforming a thing that everybody says into your own. And not even just your own, but like you and members only. Like that whole world uses that ad lib. But no one ever said Dexter quite the way famous Dex said it. Uh, uh, Dexter. Uh, uh, Dexter. <laughs> I love it. That was so big for me, freshman, sophomore year college time. Yeah. Dexter. It's like three syllables somehow. Oh, Dexter. <laughs> oh, Dexter. Yeah. I think if you're just going straight off soundbite, mm -hmm. I would much prefer Dexter, but like the A is way more iconic. I'm going to go with A here, even though I love the way he says Dexter more. I got to go with Dex. I can't let him go out without a fight. Grant? I will take X. Okay. Hey. Just know, Dexter, I fought for you. Shout out to Rich Forever back together, by the way. Yeah, it's Jay great to Critch, see. Jay Rich the Kid, and Famous Dex. Great to see. All right, now we got uh, Chance the Rapper versus Bones. Okay. Uh, Chance the Rapper's, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get, ah! Yeah. Like that one? Got to. Right? And then uh, Bones, we got Sesh. Ah! <laughs> that version <laughs> of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all just hear, ah! I mean, another one that's versatile and also has changed throughout his career quite a bit, but very constant. But I do like the combo of, ah! Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Real like schoolyard, like, nah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sort of thing. Just yeah. slips out of him like some some smoke. Some gunk. I mean, I think it's like effortlessly cool and like sinister. There's yeah. something that just like creates a vibe the way Bones does that. Just shush. Yeah, his <laughs> atmosphere in general is both of those things. But in terms of an ad lib, I got to go with Chance. It's just tough here because it's like, yes, the Chance one is more iconic to more people. Mm -hmm. But it's also like pretty corny. And that's only highlighted by being against like the coolest yeah. One so far in That's terms true. of like the one that cares the least, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, <laughs> so to go with like the theater one over like the really cool guy in a leather jacket, like smoking cigarettes and in, in the hallway at school feels wrong, but I'm going to have to do it. Yeah. You know? I'm just going to have to. Chance was cool at one point too. Don't forget it. A lot of people weren't alive for that though. Well, those people are like 12 now. So yeah. fuck well. them anyway. Jesus. <laughs> I can't respect you until you're at least 20. Gucci Mane Burr versus Jaleel. Jaleel, Jaleel, yeah. Oh man, new to the game versus OG, OG. Burr! Ooh. Isolated as well. I could throw that on any of my songs. Crispy. <laughs> Burr! I don't know if we're going to get any more Gucci Mane ones in here, but the other one I love is just the, yeah. <laughs> Jaleel, yeah. Mm. Wow, that one's isolated too. It's beautiful. Well, there's probably 30 TikToks out there of him doing it just by right. himself. <laughs> that could have been from our interview with him. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, what a voice on him. It's just got like- It's angelic. This crazy melody and energy to it. It almost has a tremble to it, mm -hmm. a la Connor Oberst. Yeah. Um, it is a bit of a tag, but he uses it so much that it's more of a catchphrase than a tag. It's a slogan. Yeah, it's a slogan that is just like, it's a punctuation to anything. It is ad lib like that, but he uses it in conversation. Jaleel, yeah. It's beautiful, but it cannot be Gucci Man. No, I mean, it's Burr. I think Jaleel would agree. Oh, yeah. It's got to be Burr. Yeah. Real raw. Real raw. <laughs> now we got Lil Uzi Vert, yeah, versus DJ Khaled, God did. <laughs> wow. Two I, titans here. A new entry into the DJ Khaled ad lib catalog, mm -hmm. God did. Yeah. See, that's not even the version of, of it that I think of. Which one do you think of? I think of like the, yeah. Oh, I think of that one. Yeah. Like almost <laughs> opens it up at the end. Yeah. For such a little funny person, they really have a way of saying things in a cool way. Oh, yeah. You know I, mean, I mean, style's been the number one thing for Lil Uzi Vert since they started. Yeah. You know? God did. God did. God did. 
Fuck. ringing out again. <laughs> it's just so versatile too. It's like God did, but it also is like other people did. Yeah. Not just God did it. No, Justin Bieber did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Juice World did. Yeah. Lil Durk did. Anyone who's willing to step in the studio with him did. And I love Uzi's Yeah, but I gotta go with God did. It's too, it's too versatile. It's too like, it's like a grandiose phrase compared to just like a cool way to announce yeah it almost feels like all the way up by fat joe yeah and then it's like a late era hit for dj khaled you know what i mean <laughs> like there's cemented ad libs in the legacy of dj khaled and there's so many of them mm -hmm. but this one is just like it's a new one that is like universally loved and used even by people who i feel like doubted or thought dj khaled was corny yeah they saw this and was like well that's just genius marketing i mean that's fantastic it's really like a accumulation thing his whole career has worked up for the God did ad lib. Or in our chat, quad did. Yes. <laughs> it's weird to not give Uzi this one, but I, I really do have to give it to God did. DJ Khaled's like a favorite in this bracket. He's probably got four other ones to come. You know what I mean? <laughs> now we got Migos, Mama versus Lil B, Swag. Oh, this is a tough one too. I mean, first round, this is a tough one. Mama. Ooh, I like that higher register one too. <laughs> the auto tune. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> I believe that was Quavo. I believe so too. RIP take off with absolutely possibly the most iconic mama ad lib mama. of the migos mama nowadays when you say ad lib that's like what pops into people's mind yeah it's just mama the triplet flows are so well punctuated with their ad libs specifically mama and mama is just such an unlikely one yeah because it feels like it would have come out of one bar where you're repeating the last line mm -hmm. where you say mama but then it just resonated with so many people yeah that you just had to keep using it as one like in the arsenal you yeah. know Swag. <laughs> Swag. He says it a lot, probably more than like actual lyrics. <laughs> um, and Lil B's awesome. I don't want to come off as anti-based, but I could live without it. Swag, swag, swag. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think they're like almost even here. I will give the slight edge to Mama because I think of its cultural impact, but I don't know, maybe not. I'm going to give it to Mama. I think it's a better ad lib, but I do not want people to think that I take swag lightly. I mean, clearly I don't. <laughs> right, sure. All right, now we got Playboy Cardi, whack, versus Blueface, yeah, I, this is another one, like two absolute juggernauts in the mm -hmm. first round. Whack. Go to the moon. A new one too, only a whole lot of red era. No, he does a little bit on Die Lit. I feel like it just reached a whole new level of velocity. I think it had a T in it during Die Lit era. It was like, wet. Yeah, it was still what? what? Then it just what? went full. <laughs> yeah, it just leaves the mouth open. Yeah. Leave the mouth open. No. I'm gonna leave the mouth open, babe. Mm, you don't think so? I wouldn't say stuff like that. Why? It just implies a lot of nasty stuff. I'm gonna leave my mouth open, babe. I, I mean, pretty good singing, but like, Thank again, you. The, the parody is disgusting. Wah! That's better. Wah! <laughs> I wanna get, I'm trying to get even deeper in the throat. Mm -hmm. Sorry again with the, the stuff I'm I'm saying, <laughs> gonna hurt yourself doing that. I know. Blue face, baby. Yeah, I chase a bag. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Yeah, I <laughs> blue so face, good. baby. I mean, yeah, I paired with blue face, baby. Some of my favorites of all time. Yeah, sitting in that whole like West Coast, mm -hmm. you get to be funny and smooth and breezy and like everything about it just has so much style. It's just sadly, I'm being attacked by the visceral. Wah! Yeah, like I can't escape that. No, it's like a rabid energy. It's like a bat bit him. I literally couldn't choose the eye if I wanted to. Yeah. Too much wet in my life. Mm hmm All right, now we got Jay-Z, Hove versus Lil Jon, yeah! Ho. You know what? I'll say it. Jay-Z's never been known for his ad libs, man. No, he's like a breath guy. Yeah. His ad libs are like, uh, 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 uh. Cause he's talking like this, you know? Like, yeah. like that's like the way his voice kind of, you want to hear everything. Yeah. If ad libs are there, it's like Biggie on an old song right. or something, you mm -hmm. know? Him, it's like Hove doesn't even, I'm not like, wow, what an iconic ad yeah. lib. I'm like, that's just his name. Like, yeah. <laughs> he will say that because he's about to rap. You yeah. know? It's like if Drake was like, Drake. Yeah. And then he's about to rap. You Drizzy. Know? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, get the fuck out of town. Oh, jeez. Pack up your shit and move to the next town. Yeah. Because this one's done. This is about the only contest between Lil Jon and Jay-Z where Lil Jon is the no-brainer. <laughs> like, <laughs> has to win. DJing. You're telling me if there's two DJ sets next to each other, mm -hmm. one's Lil Jon and one's Jay-Z, which one are you going to go 
go stand at. Well, I've already seen Little John numerous times, so I <laughs> guess I would check Jay Z out just to knock it off my list. But in terms of skills, I would have to like reconvene after I saw Jay Z set. It's gonna be tough to beat Little John. That guy can really spin those fucking discs. One of the worst DJ sets I've ever seen. Absolutely. Yeah, it was yeah, absolutely it was terrible. Really abysmal. It was like Green Day and Nirvana Strokes. and the Strokes, and then all of a sudden it was like Ice Ice Baby. Yeah. And then he did a little bit of Asher Roth, but he like belonged someone, to it. Someone just gave him a flash drive. And then he did uh, Wes Walker's hit song, Jordan Belfort, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, I love that song. Into Sweet Caroline. I don't know. It was it was confusing, to say the least, but he was pouring up those shots of Don Julio. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly, I am not a young, hot woman, so yeah. I was not able to get one of those shots for free. <laughs> nope, but I did buy a $20 water in that club. I spent $128 buying shots for two girls, and I felt like a piece of garbage. Like a king. I felt both rich and poor at the same time <laughs> is really what happened. I felt rich that I could do that and just go, uh-oh, this sucks, but like it'll be fine. Yeah. And poor because I just spent $128 on like a moment. You could have bought a swordfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could have had the nicest dinner I've had in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turned down for what? I don't know. Now, uh, Megan the Stallion, ha, versus Trippy Red, Big 14. Which is barely an ad lib. That's what I was going to say, yeah. Ah. Ooh. I mean, we we talked about this before, but like you see her tongue coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Or, no, no, no. It's her. <laughs> My mouth? What the oops, fuck? Oops, 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 oops. You see her tongue coming out of her mouth when you hear that. Yeah. And that's a visual I don't mind seeing. It's like the Rolling Stones logo for now. Eh. Oh, but now it's like when I see the Rolling Stones logo, I hear Megan the Stallion's voice. <laughs> yeah. Take that, Mick Jagger. <laughs> big 14, bitch, yeah. See, I'm used to hearing Big 14, no the fuck going on. Yeah, that's like the opener tag, but he jams it in a lot of places. It's cool, but one, it can't be Megan the Stallion, and I feel like it's not like the greatest ad lib. It's no. It's like a catchphrase. I do like to hear it. When Trippy's on a song, if he's not going to say Big 14, it's not a great song. I mean, it's easily Megan here. Absolutely. I'm happy for everyone who's turning 14. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> in Trippy's era, yeah. they, all their friends get to say, Big 14, no, what the going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got Comethazine, boom, versus DJ Khaled, another one. Oh, man. Well, actually, you know what? I spoke too soon. Another one is kind of newer, too. It's not like new, but it's a couple years old. Yeah. Whereas We The Best Music is like from the beginning. From the dawn of time. Yeah. Did chop like you did level. Boom! I boom! Comethazine's great. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's almost like a slept on designer type of thing. Like sure. the way he has so much charisma in his ad libs, so much like violence. Like yeah. there's like a violent energy to it where he's just like, boom. Yeah, he's good and hasn't faded, you know? Another one. Was that royalty free music behind him? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like he was doing like a car ad or something. <laughs> he was like, you've got a car. How about another one? <laughs> Come on down to Ray Latham's. <laughs> Doesn't feel like an ad lib to me, but at the same time, it's like, you can't beat it. I don't know. I kind of want to go boom here. Another one. Boom! It's tough for me. I'm gonna toss this one to Grant. Yeah. I think that that's fair. I don't I don't know that another one feels like an ad lib that could just be like in. Actually, I don't know. Another one is in songs too. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like he does, he does use that as an ad lib. Everything he says is an ad lib. He's not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> right, but, but like We The Best Music only shows up at the beginning. That's true. Grant, what do you say? I'll take DJ Khaled. That makes sense. Ah! Uh, <laughs> give me Comethazine, dude. Okay. He I'll flipped on us. Boom. He flipped the script on us. Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel like that's that's fair, that not every DJ Khaled deserves to go forward. Yeah, totally fair. <laughs> and Boom is, you know, Boom's a sleeper. Boom's Boom, baby. All right, second side. We've got Pusha T's Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, there wasn't enough phlegm on that one, I Sorry. think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Push a tease. Yeah. There you go. That's better. <laughs> Versus Ludacris. Luda. Hmm. Yeah. Ugh. Gives you the stank face and he doesn't even, ooh, it just feels disrespectful. Hey, Luda. Mm. I mean, I just miss that style of rap too. It's not around. It felt like we were going to get it from DaBaby before he fell off. Yeah, we had a chance. Yeah. And then he said all that terrible shit and started making bad music. Viscerally, I mean, I just have to go with Pusha T. Same. And just like in terms of an ad lib, you have one that is just the person's name. He says it cool, sure, Luda. But Pusha has just made like the ugh sound into an ad lib. <laughs> the what now? The <laughs> Like a <laughs> You sound like a cat choking on something. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, like he made right. that into an ad lib. Like who the fuck would have thought? Yeah. I also think a slept on ad lib from Pusha T is just push. The way he says that, the way he stretches out that SH is like crazy. It's also a word and his name, which is cool. Yeah. Now we got Pop Smoke's Woo versus 2 Chains True. Woo! Woo back, baby. Damn, damn, damn. For a guy with such a deep, like menacing voice as Pop Smoke had, to be able to go up the register and hit him with the woo is just beautiful. True. Mm. Okay, the long true, yeah. The long true is good. Is 2 Chainz kid named True? I think so. I mean, he really has a way of embodying his own phrases. Yeah. Harmony. Halo and yeah. Heaven. Halo and Heaven. Harmony, Halo, and Heaven are the names of his kids? That's yeah. What it looks like. Wow. Halo's a staple courtside at the Hawks games with him. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure he's got, I think he's got a French bulldog named True. Whatever. Two Chains is fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> True. I mean, it's legendary. It's easy to say. You know, people fit it into their own conversations, which is cool, but... I say all that just to say, Woo carries a different kind of weight. Yeah, I think so too. The thing I love about 2 Chains the most is clever lyricism mm -hmm. and just the way he can create such a perfect guest verse on anything. Yeah. And less for his ad libs. For sure. Whereas the Pop Smoke Woo, like- It's important. It just felt like the moment you heard it, it was like essential mm -hmm. right away. It was <laughs> yeah. essential. Like first time I heard it, I knew. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with Pop Smoke's Woo. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Absolutely. Now we got Big Sean Swerve versus Travis Scott straight up. We talk a lot of shit about Big Sean, but Swerve is fire. Swerve is, <laughs> Swerve, there's something to Swerve. Yeah, it is a cool word. Swerve. Oh, Swerve. It's a cool word and you can't deny Big Sean's got a cool voice. I was gonna say, good on Big Sean for finding the perfect word for his exact voice. I mean, that voice he's got on him is crispy. We operate out of Detroit. We are a Detroit-based YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And if you've heard us talk about Big Sean, we apologize for we are not big fans of, of his music. However, Swerve fire. And we like Big Sean as a guy. Yeah. Just like the, a good the guy. music just isn't our thing. Yeah. Straight up. Straight Not as cool as that. Oh yeah. It's tough because I want to give like an a, a bit of a curve yeah. to swerve here. A swerve curve. I want to give a swerve curve, but at the <laughs> same time, like it's because Travis Scott has cooler ad libs. Yeah. Like I'd rather hear it's lit. I'd rather hear La Flame. I'd rather hear Pop It. Pop it. Pop, pop it. Straight up is kind of lower on the rung for Travis Scott ad libs and carries the same charm with the reverb and everything. It's kind of the same thing. Straight up's high, a high up for me. Well, okay, I'm gonna go with Swerve here okay. because I think it's more unique. I wanna hear Swerve more. Straight up, I could do without. If that was not in Travis Scott's arsenal, it'd be okay with me. Fair enough, I gotta go straight up. I'm taking Swerve too, man. Hey! hey let's go, Cinderella Sean. story. Maybe the first Big Sean W on this channel. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we got Chief Keef, bang, bang, versus Playboy Cardi, e, e. Which I always did imagine it spelled like that. I don't know what he's trying to say. <laughs> I always picture it as like a bullet ricocheting off something. Yeah. It's so mean. His ad libs when he first came out, yeah. that was like the thing everybody was talking about. It was like, these are the best ad libs of all time. Yeah. Which is bang, bang. The balance it adds to that music is just insane. And this, I don't know, bang, bang is so serious, so mean. It's perfect for his music. <laughs> That one didn't even sound like Cardi. <laughs> that one was almost cute. I'm going bang bang here. Yeah, pretty easily. Yeah. I mean, Cardi ad libs are goaded, but at the same time. He just plays with noises too. Yeah. The, he really narrowed in on the wah, the wah. But he'll use like any noise as an ad lib in a song. You know what I mean? He'll boop, he'll bop, he'll beep, he'll swoop. He'll say his own name. He'll go, Cardi. Yeah. But yeah, Chief Keef bang bang's too iconic. All right, now we got Tupac West Side versus Anderson Pack. Yes, loud. This is like a fire old school, new school matchup. <laughs> Yeah, West Coast, old school, new school. West Side! Mm, I mean, an OG ad lib right there. Yeah. Every banging Tupac song, he's hollering out West Side. And when ad libs weren't even as prominent in rap, like right. you didn't really have ad libs mm -hmm. back then. You it, didn't need them. Well, and you had to record everything one take on tape. Right. Everything was recorded by whispering into a boulder in the desert yeah. back <laughs> then. So. And then you just wait till like a lunar eclipse and then you can like, kind of hear the stone speak back to you. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. You held a calculator up to it. Yeah, and then, something. Why would they have well, it was an abacus. Sorry. Yeah, an abacus. Sorry. Yeah, but it's more for you. Come on. Yes, Lord. Fall from a pit, but I'm- Yes, Lord. I mean, his voice is just so good. High register, raspy, melodic. Didn't even feel like an ad lib at first. To right. me, it felt yeah. more like the Jaleel Yeah thing, kind mm-hmm. of like a catchphrase, a slogan. I don't know. This one's tough for me. I kind of feel like I just have more experience with Yes, Lord. I'm not, a, admittedly, not a huge Tupac fan. Yeah. Just not as experienced with his catalog. I don't listen to a lot of Tupac. Mm-hmm. But yes, load. I mean, I, I just like what it does for ad libs. Yeah. So I'm going to go with that just so I'm not like a liar. I'm not like a fraud to myself by picking yeah. something that I'm not as familiar with. I would never pick Tupac over Anderson Pac. Really? Never. In no situation. I like Anderson Pac's music so much more. And the yes, load is like, it's yes, load. <laughs> yes, load. <laughs> it's fire. Listen, old heads, we're sorry. We love music. That's the thing about (laughs) us. And we're just having fun. It's our actual opinion. We don't mean to disrespect anybody. Mm. We're just here having fun. I meant a little disrespect. Towards Tupac? No, towards the old heads that would care that we diss Tupac. Oh, okay. I don't give a fuck about them. You know what I mean? Oh, geez, man. Of course I care about Tupac. Next matchup, we've got Birdman. Well done. What was that, uh, Oriole? Oh, no, it's a dove. Versus Tyler, the creator, Ayo. What happened to that? Just a bird call for Birdman. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's fantastic. Ayo. Tyler the Creator's uh, implies this sort of like, it's about to happen. Yeah. You know, his is very like, Ayo. And then he that's when he's about to go in. Mm-hmm. I do like that because it's kind of unique for an ad lib to just be kind of like, it's almost like setting your stance or something. It's almost a let's go. I do like that, but I much prefer the bird call. I prefer any animal noise over any word. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? A little, that's beautiful. Birdman it is. And speaking of animal noises, we've got DMX. Arf, arf, versus Ski Master Slump God's Water. Two great ones, honestly. Oh, this matchup is dog water. <laughs> Just such a convincing impression of a dog. It's like <laughs> it's kind of it's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> it really does sound like a dog. <laughs> Have you seen that interview where Young Thug is talking about like confirmation bias? Mm-hmm. So he's talking about how like when you buy a car, you'll start seeing that car everywhere. Sure. And then he says that happened to him when he started listening to DMX. He started seeing dogs everywhere. What the That's f- what he says in an interview. It is so funny. It's such a weird, like, it's not where I was expecting him to go. Yeah. Like, he says, like, you know how, like, you'll see the car that you drive everywhere once you get it? That happened to me when I started listening to DMX. I started just seeing more dogs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. That is, like, one of the best ad libs of all time. Yeah. Rest in peace, DMX. Water. Water's great. No one's ever going to be able to use something so, like, plain as well as that, I feel. Like, I mean, water's a common ad lib. Other people used yeah. to say it before too. I believe McConan was using it. Like water as like a theme is a huge thing. It's like yeah. Mick Jenkins, it's McConan, it's Patrick CC. It's like a bunch of rappers, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. that all use it. But Ski Mass of Slump Gods is like, there's something about it. Yeah. Like when I hear that one, I envision the crowd all going, water. Yeah, but it's not arf arf. No, DMX wins here, but water beats a lot of the competition here. It's just against arf arf. Yeah, it's a really tough draw for a first matchup. DMX wins there. Now we've got Young Dolph, uh uh-huh, versus Kid Cudi, hmm, just the Kid Cudi hum. Uh Uh Uh-huh. Explosive. (laughs) It's got the pickup. It, like, takes the whole thing up. Mm -hmm. It can really (laughs) punctuate, like, yeah, R.I.P. Dolph. (laughs) (laughs) Sound like your phone going off. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a debate whether the hums are ad libs, whether they're backing vocals or whatever, but it's it's tough to beat for me. I mean, what a unique vocal addition either way. Yeah. There's no other ad lib on here like this one because also the hums are different every time. Mm-hmm. And it's also so like ubiquitous. Like yeah. it's like, like I remember when Kid Cudi posted Scott Street by Phoebe Bridgers on Twitter. He just posted that he liked the song and her first response to him was a quote tweet that said, will you hum with me? Yeah. You know, it's like humming and Kid Cudi. That's like they go together. Yeah. Like that is what he's known for. And that's such a unique thing because it's just a, it's a thing everybody does. You know, yeah. you hum along to a song or whatever, but Kid Cudi made that like his thing. Don't even open your mouth and it's an iconic vocal. And I like when he does open his mouth, when he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that thing is like feels 
like a like a campfire or yeah. something. It's got to be Cuddy here. Yeah, I'm going to go Cuddy here too, but RIP Dolph, iconic ad lib. Yeah, huge. It's just too many hums. Yeah. Now we've got, huh? By the artist formerly known as Kanye West versus Lil Durk. Man, what? Huh? And that's a shorter one. Yeah. I like when he's like, huh? I you mean, used to like. Yeah, I used to like it. I used to like it before he was a awful anti-Semite and a bad role model for children and adults alike. Back when he was one of my favorite artists of all time and had what I would consider maybe the best catalog of music, period. Yeah. Back then, I loved when he would go, huh? Yeah. But now it's just soiled. Yeah, it is mm. soiled. Yo, man, what? Man, what? Dirk's fire. Unproblematic. Building a great catalog, but I I, I, I'm, I'm going to give it to the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to. I mean, man, what is awesome? And I saw this one posted a lot when I was looking through threads of like people's favorite ad libs, especially now because Dirk is a lot of people's favorite artist. I mean, man, what is a fantastic ad lib? I love it, but it's not going to be. Hey. No. We got Pierre Bourne. Hey, wait. And we got Sheck Wes's bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's brilliant how he fills space with just the most basic words. And the wait, something about telling me to wait, knowing you're about to rap. Yeah. Or like he's waiting to rap. I don't know. It has like this almost like tension to it. It builds like a beautiful tension in the, his music, but. It's like the command, you know? Yeah. It's like, hey, wait, like I'm about to. Yeah. It's like somebody freestyling. It's yeah. kind of like, wait, okay, yep. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in. <laughs> yep, wait for me though, wait for me. Um, I haven't thought of stuff yet, yeah. I'm, I'm still thinking. And Pierre Bourne stuff does feel like a freestyle sometimes. Like, yeah. I mean, he has crazy clever bars. When you really listen, he's on some like old Wayne shit. Mm -hmm. Lot of wordplay. And the hey wait, just in between all of it. It's awesome. It makes great pacing. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. One I wish I didn't like so much, but it's just so electrifying. It like, really is. The way he says bitch, it's just different. Bitch. He's getting every single ounce of energy out with that one word. I think bitch wins here, sadly. Yeah, I think so too. You know that ad libs are good when an artist is on a song just for their ad libs. Yeah. You know, Cardi did that mm -hmm. on one of the Yay songs from his last album. Sheck West did that on, basically on No Bystanders. Yeah. That is like when you know there's something to the ad libs that you just need that ad lib track on there from yeah. that artist. Okay, now we got Blades Laugh versus Waka Flocka Flames. Blocka! <laughs> Makes me so uneasy. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a laugh, it's more of a giggle. I mean, I think it's so cool, just within the context of Blades World, where it is like this mystical kind of up in the clouds, ethereal, like whatever the, the mystical, magical element of Drain music is, he really does capture it with like that one sound. Yeah. But I can understand how it would make somebody who's never heard Blade be like, I'm not listening to some guy moan, you know? No, it feels like a ghost. <laughs> I'm like, what the? I'm alone <laughs> in my house right now. <laughs> it's like a ghost from a Mario game. Though. Yeah. It's not like a ghost, like a scary one. It's scary It's to a me. cute ghost. <laughs> Fuck! I mean, this is like Sheck West's bitch on steroids. Absolutely. He gets every ounce of energy out. Fuck! <laughs> like, you have to push it out. Like, that is one where you're like, you're holding your bottom lip and you are letting it flap out. Mm -hmm. Like, you were like, Flocka! You have to spit a little bit to do that ad lib. He's on DJ Khaled level in oh, this yeah, bracket. Absolutely. Sorry, Blady. Sorry, Drainers. I mean, there's really no contest there. It's not even really an ad lib. It's more of an intro. All right, now we got Juicy J, yeah, ho, versus Yeet Tonka. Fuck Yeet. Okay, no. <laughs> At least put your head up if you're going to say something so bold. Fuck Yeet. Okay. I mean, that's Tonka's. Does he even use that as an ad lib? It's just like something people say on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, come on, that is amazing. That's one that gets sampled. Yeah. Like you could throw that in a Memphis sample song and that alone is like the punctuation for a whole new song. Yep. Yeah, ho. Like it's one that feels like it would be preloaded on a sound effects keyboard. <laughs> you know, like you have like, when you get a keyboard and you have all the different settings, you're like, oh, I'm gonna make it an old organ or yeah. whatever. And then you have one that's sound effects. It's like, oh, oh. And then you go, yeah, ho. <laughs> like it just has it there already. It's stock sound effect. It really is. It's Listen, I am not a Yeet denier. I think Yeet is, is pretty good, but I mean, it's nowhere near Yahoo. Yeah. All right, now we got Young Thug Slat versus Designer. Grrr. Man. We're seeing, uh, yeah, okay. Let's listen to him. Slat. Slat. 
Slit. Oh, you got three little yeah. versions of it there. That's cool. Nice. It just means so much that I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to like dive know. into. You know <laughs> what I mean? It is a great ad lib, though. I'll say that much. Yes. But how does one make that sound? You got to hold your tongue back here. You know, you go. It's amazing. How do you think to make that? I don't know. I feel like when you see him even talk, I feel like he does a lot of non-verbal communication. Yeah. He's like a walking soundboard. He's like, oh yeah, kick, kick, kick. <laughs> it's awesome. He's such an animated character. Yeah. Like, we need another designer hit. I know we've been I saying know. it, but like, I want another hit from him. Designer can come back. I totally agree. He just needs the right producer. Honestly, like a hit boy, hit boy designer. Like, I want to see that happen and we will get another designer hit with all the ad libs and it'll play everywhere and everybody will be happy for him. He's such a good guy. He is a great guy. Yeah, it's 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 designer here. Mm -hmm. Free Young Thug. Now we got Lil Pump Esketit versus Lil Wayne Toonchi. Mm, I hate that this is a tough matchup, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah. It is. Scott! <laughs> he does not even pronounce all of the syllables in this. No. He lets it go. It just goes, Scott! <laughs> He's even got a song titled it. It's like trademarked. He really ran with just this make-believe word. <laughs> That's the version we have. <laughs> tune. I like when he does just the tune. Yeah. I mean, it's a creative nickname. It's fun. I don't know. I feel like Lil Wayne's not someone I'm thinking of when I think of ad libs. Before we get into the debate of it, I just want to point out to everybody and remind them, these two have a song together. But yeah, they do. Isn't that crazy? It's cool. Be Like Me, I think yeah. is what it's called. Wow. We live in a world where Lil Pump and Lil Wayne have a song together. I'm happy we do. I'm going with Toonchi here. I think, like, when I hear just Tune or Toonchi, like, mm -hmm. that's still a great ad lib. I, I agree. Lil Wayne is not known for his ad libs the same way other artists are, but I mean, it's still more iconic than Esket. I'm firmly in Lil Pump's corner here, I think. Yeah, actually. It's not more iconic. I, I regret saying that. That's not true. Oh, man, you know what? I think I got caught up in the bias of who's a better artist. Yeah, I'm completely removed from that. Obviously, I like Lil Wayne more than Lil Pump. Yeah, Lil Wayne's like one of your favorite rappers of all time. That is true. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going with this skit it. Yeah, thank you. That's weird, though. It's yeah. weird how like my brain tricked me into thinking that it wasn't a better ad lib just because it's not a better artist. Now we got Lil Jon, okay, versus Migos, skirt. Ooh. There's a lot of skirts out there though. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? Okay! Mm. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a cartoon skunk. Okay! I can see the pimp chalice. It's glistening. It's blinding me, honestly. That's the holy grail right there. I mean, mm -hmm. Lil Jon is like the prince of ad libs. Like you yeah. can't really dethrone him. No. Skirt. I mean, it's a good one. It's great. I'll even go that far. But it's going up against like a biblical figure. <laughs> okay, said like that is way more important than like the Migos version of skirt. Right. Because you get skirt from a ton of people. Everywhere. Like, you know, you get it from Lil Peep. You get it from Roddy Rich. Yeah. Like you'll get it from anybody who's talking about a car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Migos one is probably the most iconic, but it's still okay. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. Last one in the first round, we've got Lil Yachty, Lil Boat, versus 21 Savage, Pussy. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. He's just got a great voice. That's really all that it is. Whatever his ad-libs are, I love him. And, like I said earlier, when you're on a song for just your ad-libs, like he is on the Drake and 21 Savage album, mm -hmm. that speaks to the importance of that voice as an ad-lib presence. Yeah. However, it's going up against 21 Savage's best. Pussy. And that's the short one. Pussy. <laughs> that one has evolved a little with time. He started to lengthen it. He started to play with it. It's always going to be the pussy for me. <laughs> Wish he hadn't said it that way. Uh, but me um, too. yeah, you <laughs> me know. Me too, boss. Yeah. There's an interesting post on Hip Hop by the Numbers where they talk about the amount of times 21 Savage says pussy <laughs> on each project and it just increases. And it's just yeah. so funny. But I love the length, just the length, but he just goes, pussy like the monotone drone and then drake kind of like christening it on the new album by yeah. saying like savage call you pussy and he hit it on the nose like mm -hmm. that's you know everybody knows this one now yeah and i feel like it was kind of a late entry next to 21 and on god for sure and on god not being on here does suck i wish there was a space for that one mm -hmm. too because that's an amazing ad lib but pussy goes on yeah we're into the second round here we've got travis scott it's lit versus Baby. let's go oh i wish this wasn't hard for me but it kind of is. It's lit. Let's go. 
Yeah, this is actually really tough. The baby kind of lives and dies by the let's go. Travis Scott, you know, would still be a great artist without the it's lit. I'm leaning Travis here, but I'm just trying to think of how important the let's go is for the baby. Here's my thought process here. I was kind of leaning towards let's go mm -hmm. because I'm trying to live by the philosophy that it doesn't matter the artist versus artist. This is ad lib versus ad lib. Mm -hmm. But then I thought of Travis Scott's shortened abbreviated it's lit. It's lit. Yeah. And that one kind of takes it over the edge for me. Yeah. Because yeah, you get the it's lit. Like you're always gonna get that. But now that you have that added part to the canon of just like it's lit, I kind of feel like it's evolving. And so I'm gonna give the slight edge to Travis here. Yeah, same. Now we got Brick Squad versus Trippy Main. This you know, is not hard for me. It's Trippy Main. It's Brick Squad for me. Okay. Like Trippy Main is amazing, but I prefer Yahoo. I will say that mm, for see, Juicy I, J. I prefer Trippy Main. Brick Squad is just like so much energy. It's just like, yeah. It's not Flocka though, which is my favorite. I agree. I agree. These are kind of my second favorite Flocka and Juicy J ad libs going against each other. Mm -hmm. And the wholehearted embrace of the psychedelic culture by Juicy J and 3 Six Mafia as the tough guys of rap that they are did a lot for me. And as a guy who kind of hates hippies yeah. and thinks that psychedelics make you think you figured something out that the rest of the world doesn't know but really turned your whole brain to mush, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Brick Squad. Okay, Grant, what do you say? I'm taking Brick Squad. Brick Squad! Now we got West Side Gun. Boo, 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 boo! Versus Designer. Get, get, get! A battle of multiples here. <laughs> yeah. You don't just get a boom or a get. You don't just get a boom. I'm going West Side Gun though. This one is just, it sounds better and the other designer, the is far superior. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, West Side Gun is like, that's like unbeatable almost. All right, now we got Rick Ross who versus XXX Tentacion A. It's Rick Ross's big uh, grizzly bear kind of baritone vocal for me. And I think it's gonna upset people. Oh man, this one's actually really tough. I am gonna go with A, the way that that just lights up a room and gets people just violent. There's something about that that I think is important to celebrate. Yeah. Despite the man behind it. True. G, where do you fall? I'll take X. That's a tough one though. Yeah. All right, now we got Chance the Rapper, ah! Versus Gucci Mane, Burr. Nerd versus the cool guy battle here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely Gucci. It's Gucci Mane. <laughs> He's in a varsity jacket, shoving Chance in a locker. Yeah. Go back to church, dork. <laughs> All right, now we got DJ Khaled, God, dude. Versus Migos, Mama. I love the call for Mama. I love my mother, but the only thing I love more is DJ Khaled. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You love DJ Khaled more than your own Yes. Mother? Wow. Absolutely. I'm gonna go with Mama here. I think God did is great right now. Mm -hmm. I can see myself in a year being like, oh, shut up. Shut up with all that crap. That's yeah. what I'll say. I'll say, mm -hmm. shut up with all the crap, DJ Khaled. Nobody likes that. Come up with a new one. I don't want like the God did burger at Wendy's in a year. <laughs> I do. I'm going DJ Khaled. It's mama for me. Mama. All right, mama it is. All right, now we got wet versus yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll make this easy for you. Okay. And by that, I mean, put all of the weight on you. I am clearly going with wet. Yeah, again, it's not the best Lil John one. When you think of Lil John, you think of okay. I don't know, I kind of like the yeah more. I just can't like it more than wet. I'll ride for the vamps here. I'll go with Cardi. All right, now we got Megan's ha versus Comethazine, boom! Megan all day here. This one is very close for me, but yeah, I need that attitude. I need that ha. It's awesome, and it's like singular in the world of rap right now. It's like nothing else. I'm with it. Side number two, we got yeah versus woo. Man, I love Pop Smoke so much, but it, it pushes, it just stood the test of time and is so, so gross. Yeah, woo, <laughs> so celebratory. I love that about it. It's like jubilant in a yeah. certain way. <laughs> but I mean, the yeah is like, it's like nothing else, mm -hmm. you know? This is gonna be tough when we get down to the end with these, cause these, are, some of them are just so good. All right, now we got Swerve versus Bang Bang. Bang Bang, come on. Yeah, we're not even gonna really talk no, more about Big Sean. You did too much like good Big Sean yeah. talk at the beginning. Yeah. I almost feel bad about that. I feel like I might cut some of it. I don't, I like them. <laughs> I'm just joking. Shout out to Big Sean, but it is easily bang bang. All right, now we got Yes Lord versus Anderson Pac is easily like the most talented vocalist on this whole board, I think. Really? Absolutely. Especially when he extend, yes, Lord, you know, he kind of <laughs> roll with it. Right. It's beautiful, but it's not an animal noise. Wait, is smoke perp on this list? 
Oh, never mind. I was just trying to think of anybody. Better, okay. yeah, yeah, better vocalists, but <laughs> whatever. Again, it's not an animal noise, so Birdman here. Yeah, it's Birdman for me. He's the only bird on the list. Sing like a bird, what happened to that boy? Now we got DMX <laughs> versus Kid Cudi's Hum. Fuck Ohio, I wish I never grew up there. What? <laughs> it's DMX. It doesn't have to be all that. I don't give a shit anymore. Right, it is DMX, Mark, <laughs> but... Jesus, I didn't really have to denounce your hometown. I wish I was never born. Don't go pop punk on us. I don't want to be here anymore. (laughs) I want to be at the mall. (laughs) I hate this town and everybody in it. My girlfriend's dad's a dick. Walmart parking lot. I don't know what they're doing these days in pop punk. I'm trying to remember, but you know what I mean? The Midwest is a good place to grow up. They've like fully embraced it now. (laughs) (laughs) My dad's actually kind of cool when you get to know him. All right, now we got, huh? Versus Bitch. I really wish the bad man could lose. Yeah, but it can't be this round. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Yeah, not this round, you know. Fuck, it sucks, dude. I know. I'm sorry to keep his name on here and stuff, and just want to let you guys know that we absolutely denounce everything he has said in the last three months. 100%. Or so. It'll lose at some point. Oh, God. Now we got Flocka versus Yaho. Flocka! It's got to be that for me. It's just, it's too explosive. Yaho's great. It's cemented in the culture, but Flocka is like a thermonuclear bomb. <laughs> True, yeah. It's like a sports car versus a monster truck. Yeah, it's like getting kissed on the lips by your grandmother or getting shot in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> getting kissed on the lips by your grandmother? Yeah, that's like, yeah, ho. Really? And getting shot in the face with a shotgun <laughs> is like flocka. Okay, I guess. I don't really see the analogy, but... We live very different lives. All right, now we got designer. <laughs> Versus scat! Kind of similar ones here. Yeah, they both are just kind of sounds yeah. coming from a young, charismatic guy. But it's got to go designer here. Yeah, I mean, gra like... is crazy. Now we got okay versus pussy. I mean, that's like a final two matchup for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go with 21 here. I'd rather hear pussy. I know I said I'd never not choose pussy, but I'm going to not choose it here. You're going to go with okay. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, Crunk lives on through you and your pathetic (laughs) little vote. Grant, what do you like to do? I will take 21. Me and Grant kind of on the same page with these ad-libs today. Next round. The round of 16. We've got It's Lit versus Brick Squad. Oh! It's Lit. It's got to be Brick Squad. Squad, though. I mean, it has to be. It I does. feel bad like eliminating Travis from the ad libs bracket seems crazy. It's important. It's looks great, but man. Yeah, I gotta go with Brick Squad. I just gotta go with what I think is true. Yeah. You know? Energy carries so much weight for me in ad libs. All right, now we got boo 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 versus A. Let's put it to rest. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's gonna go West Side Gun here. It's got it too. Shout out Buffalo. All right, now we got Gucci Mane Burr versus Migos Mama. Ooh, the battle of the Atlanta iconic ad libs. Yeah, but it's Burr. And you know it's Burr. Burr! It's Gucci. Oh, why is that one not on here? Yeah. Wow, I forgot about that. You know what? I'm not, I'm gonna go with Mama. There's something about Mama. I don't know what it is, but like, I didn't expect it or anticipate that going into the bracket mm-hmm. that I would like fight for Mama, but like, Mama! Something about a grown man saying Mama too. It's like when an adult woman calls her father daddy. That is my least favorite thing of all time. It implies that you have his credit card in your wallet. Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? It really does. No girl over the age of 20 calls her dad daddy and does not have his credit card in her wallet. (laughs) That's my new observation. Grant, where are you lying on this one? Give me mama. Oh, wow. Cinderella story for mama. All right, now we got wah versus ha. Oh, God, I'd love to hear these two make a song together. I wouldn't. I'm going to (laughs) go. No, thanks. You can keep it. I'm going to go with Cardi. Yeah, it's got to be Cardi here. Next side, we've got yeah versus Bang, bang. See, this? I, yeah, this oh, is a tough no. one. Oh, no. This is like a final two matchup for me, too. Yeah. I'm leaning Chief Keef, though. Just I feel like ad-libs are more prevalent in his sound in general. The push of one is like the great point of emphasis. And when you do get it, it hits in a special way. But Chief Keef is like, he's up there with Lil John and Waka Flocka when it comes to delivering ad-libs. That's true. I think as a whole, Chief Keef is a more important ad-lib artist than Pusha T by a mile. But Pusha T's sing singular yeah is perhaps better than any Chief Keef ad-lib, which is a bit of an anomaly, you know, <laughs> statistically speaking. Yeah, I don't really know where to go here. I think I'm going to go with Pusha T. Just nasty. Yeah, I'm still with Chief Keef here. All right, Grant, what are we doing? Give me Chief Keef, man. Wow, okay. Like All right, now we got... Brrr, 
versus arm, arm. Okay, a bird versus a dog. If we're talking about a physical fight here, it's, it's gonna be the dog. The dog is gonna take down the bird, unless we're talking about a hawk or eagle and a tiny little dog. A little Yorkie getting swept up by an albatross. Very easy, could probably grab two Yorkies. Albatross's claws are bigger than your head. And a turkey vulture once picked up a golden retriever yeah. from my neighborhood, just took it. And everybody cried collectively yeah. at our neighborhood flamingo party. No one thought about the vulture's happiness? Generally, I feel like if the people in the neighborhood had created a bond with the turkey vulture, mm -hmm. there would have been some more empathy there. Yeah. But instead it was scruffy or Daisy or whatever, whatever dog got snatched up, they were more worried about the dog getting snatched up. Yeah, I mean, if it was opposite, if the family raised a vulture and a stray golden retriever came over and devoured it and there are feathers scattered about the yard, who's crying then? The just, turkey, the vulture owner. The yeah, turkey this, vulture this the owner. the same family, I guess. <laughs> the yeah. same family would be crying, yes. It just depends on what they raise. Give me the dog. Easily DMX. Arr, arr. Now we got the bad man versus... Fucka! And we know what we can do here. We're finally laying this to rest. Down goes the devil. Fucka! All right, now we got Grrrr versus pussy. I'm back on the pussy train. This is where you hop back on the pussy train? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is where I'm hopping off the pussy train and I gotta go ride with Grrrr. Fair enough. I feel like we're getting down to a bunch of really like phlegmy, yeah. Kind of like masculine, <laughs> like like junkyard shit. That's kind of what we're getting down to in our favorite ad libs, which is interesting. It's I didn't expect it to go there, but I gotta go with Grrrr. Where do you fall, Grant? Uh, I'll take a designer. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Elite eight, and they are elite. Mm -hmm. We've got Brick Squad versus Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm easily going West Side Gun here. Yeah. Because we got Flocka on the other side. I think Flocka is the stronger of the two Waka Flocka ad libs. Agreed. I think boom, 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 boom is just more singular, more speaks to a vibe. Yeah, there's nothing else like it. Now we've got Mama versus Wah. It's gotta be the vamp lord killer bloodsucker here. You're a mama's boy though, so. I am a mama's boy. God, I love both of these so much for different reasons. You know what? I'm gonna go with Cardi, but it was like neck and neck, hair's length win. <laughs> and RIP takeoff. Yes. Cause that is like, that's what I think of when I think of mama. That's a tragedy, yeah. Yeah, okay, Cardi to the final four. Now, bang bang versus arf arf. <laughs> 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 I don't think you have Bang Bang if you don't have Arf Arf. Absolutely true. Roo, roo. Making a convincing dog sound as your ad lib when you are DMX, that big buff bulldog of a man. He you says, know? where my dog's at? Where my dog's at? And, and then everybody barks. Everybody barks, that's amazing. It is amazing. No one else like Chief Keef, but the, I gotta go DMX here. Yeah, no one's ever gonna bark like that again. No. Wait, didn't you DM your ex a voice memo of you barking? What's that got to do with anything? Well, did you or didn't you? The people want to know. They're all asking in the chat. I howled. I mean, you barked a little bit. I whimpered. Okay, but... <laughs> 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 I just did that. Don't just conveniently leave out the bark. So you bark. I didn't bark. You did bark. No, I will. I'll. I'll growl at you. You like that too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark. Now we got Flocka versus Grrrr. Now I know I said we had Flocka on this side. Yeah, you feel like Designer's got a chance here? I think Designer's got a chance here. I think again, it is kind of like the predecessor versus yes. the child sort of thing. Like you wouldn't have Grrrr if you didn't have Waka Flocka Flame, in my opinion. But I do think in this case, the teacher has become the master. I'm still on the Flocka side. I'm gonna go with Give me Flocka. Okay, thank you, Grant. That feels right, I, I, I understand that, but I went with my gut and my opinion. All right, final four is set. First matchup, we've got West Side Gun versus Cardi. Boom, 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 versus Wet. The West Side Gun one has more, it's more alive. He can say boom as many times as he wants. It just is more versatile to me. I think I enjoy it a little more. I can see that. My argument for Cardi here is more that when it shows up in a place, that presence means a lot. If I hear a wah on a song, I'm immediately like, oh shit, this is about to be crazy. Yeah. Whereas West Side Gun is only where you think he's gonna be. That's true. His atmosphere is very singular. Mm -hmm. Cardi can add his atmosphere to other things by just doing that one thing. Just Fair going, wah. I'm going to go with Cardi for that reason, but it is like, these are two of my favorites on the entire bracket for yeah. sure. I'm sticking with West Side Gun. Grant? Let's do West Side Gun. I think that's fair. I I was like 50-50 on it, so. All right, now, what's going to go up against it? We got <laughs> R -R versus F 
Flocka! Where are you leaning? Man, I gotta go with the bark, I think. I think I gotta go with the bark. Flocka is... It's great. But I don't think it holds the historical significance or the straight visceral energy that yeah. the barks do. Like, it's just a different level. Yep, going DMX. Where are my dogs at? Our final is set right here. Kind of an unlikely one, I feel like. Yeah. We've got West Side Gun, boo, 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 versus DMX's barking dog sound. Okay, <laughs> there's gonna be a poll up in the chat right now. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. What do you think should win our ad lib bracket? While we're deliberating, also, think of what you're gonna comment. What bracket should we do <laughs> next? We're gonna do a lot of brackets in the new year. Lots of them. Artist brackets, types of songs brackets. We could do producers tag bracket, blah, 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 blah. Let us know down in the comments. We will be checking to see what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. Also, once again, let us know what we left off. Here it comes down to kind of what I said when West Side Gun was going against Cardi. Yeah. It's just that it's so singular and sits in its own space. I think the bark is more culturally wide, just more important. You can't really beat a DMX bark. No. Mm -hmm. Eh, we'll leave that in, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Hank even getting his vote in. Yeah, <laughs> Hank got his vote in for the bark. <laughs> He's out there. I don't know if you guys heard it, but my dog started barking yep. when I asked where my dogs were at. <laughs> what are you doing here? It's not even close. It's DMX. All right. Sorry, Grant. What would you have voted for? I would have voted DMX as well. Okay. Nice. DMX wins the rapper ad libs bracket. Can't say I 100% expected that, but it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the more I sat with it, the more it became clear. All right, so that's the winner of the rapper ad libs bracket. Again, let us know what bracket we should do next. Thank you for watching and doing the bracket along with us. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to the members. Also, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And great, do you want to leave these wonderful people some advice to leave or live their lives by? To read without reflecting is to eat without digesting. All right, this has been Hi My TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you to our armed services. <laughs>statistics. I like that. Something like that. It's just about how logical everything is, you know? The numbers. Hit the books. And racism. That would be mine. Really? Yep. Nice. Every bar I deliver will help end racism. Every bar is going to have that ad lib? Like every single one? Every single one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be fucking fat hoes in the strip club. And racism. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I spent my life savings on a fishing trip. Didn't catch shit. And racism. Wow. Stuff like that. That's profound Thanks. and interesting. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was going to call on you. No need. I'm the only one in the room. What about him? Grant's not part of the class. He's like a student teacher. What about that guy? Not a guy over there. You're tripping again. What? <laughs> yeah, there's not a soul over there, pal. What about the guy over there? Well, that's just a cardboard cutout of Lee Trevino. Who's Lee Trevino? Amazing legend of golf. Oh. Crazy wit and humor on him. That's why I brought him in here. Kind of brighten us up. What's up, Lee? Nope, just a cutout. He's oh. not going to say hi back. And if he does, again, it's just your own fucked up mind. So is the cutout is a golf legend or is it the person? Like, is it a per cutout of a person? Cutout of a person. So a cutout of a person is a golf legend? How does yeah. he golf? Ah, whatever. We'll get back to it. Who's the short guy in the corner? That's me. That's you in the corner? Yeah. That is me in the spotlight. Oh my God, are you losing your religion? Yeah, it happens. Sometimes you grow old and you just kind of lose your religion. Perhaps I've said too much. Or you haven't said enough.